This video has been produced by Crown Trade to help house builders and their contractors get the best out of Crown Trade's new range of acrylic paints for trim areas, new build acrylic gloss and acrylic satin finish. Solvent-based gloss paints have always yellowed as part of their drying and curing process, but following changes to VOC legislation that were implemented at the start of 2010, some house builders have noticed that this yellowing process seems to be happening more quickly than in the past. Crown Trade has launched its acrylic offer as a solution, but as well as not yellowing, the acrylic products have other added benefits over traditional gloss paints. These products are safer and more pleasant to apply, having less unpleasant solvents. This also means that they dry more rapidly and are usually able to be overcoated after only four hours. They also offer a better match to the pre-finished doors being fitted in many new homes, both from a colour and sheen level point of view. The house purchaser will benefit from the fact that they will have longer before they have to repaint their trim areas. The acrylic products retain their just painted appearance much longer than their solvent based predecessors. Finally, everyone these days has to focus on sustainability and environmental issues. These new products have less environmental impact over their full life cycle, emitting less volatile organic compounds which contribute to air pollution. We understand that contractors prefer to use the solvent-based glosses, as they are naturally easier to apply and achieve a high gloss finish with. However, with some adaptation of application techniques, professional painting contractors can be confident that they can achieve a finish that is acceptable to the house builders and their customers. In this video, Paul Marsden, Crown Paint's technical consultant, is going to demonstrate how to get the best results from the Crown Trade new build acrylic gloss and acrylic satin finish systems. Hello, today we're going to be looking at the application of the Crown Trade new build acrylic gloss system. Uh, first of all, we're going to look at the preparation. Um, we're going to be applying it onto a six panel door with the use of a medium pile roller and a good quality synthetic brush. Obviously, applying products like this, it's all about speed of application. And us here at Crown have found the quickest way of applying it onto a six panel door is by the use of a good quality medium power roller. This particular door that we've got here in front of us has been coated with the new build acrylic primer undercoat. And what we need to do now that it's thoroughly dried, we need to lightly sand it using a piece of sandpaper or a scotch bright pad. I particularly prefer to use this uh, piece of equipment because it doesn't take any paint off the sharp uh, edges. Uh, and it gives you a nice smooth finish. Also, when we've sanded the area down, we recommend that the areas are actually either brushed with a dusty brush to take off any excess uh, dust, or they can actually be cleaned down with a tight rag. It's very important that surfaces are cleaned prior to application of the gloss system or satin system, because it, it gives a good intercoat adhesion. Obviously, if you've got dust on the surface, the coats won't adhere correctly. Right, we're actually going to sand a panel on the, uh, on the door now and we're using a scotch bright pad which is quite bendy and flexible and we'll actually get into the actual moulding. So what we do is we <coughs> sand into the actual moulding, making sure that we hit all areas and then what we do then, the flat of our hand, we're actually doing the flat face of the panel. What we're actually doing here is we're creating a key for the new build acrylic gloss or satin to adhere to. And then after that, we take a dusty brush and we dust off. Alternatively, you can also use as well a tight rag, which is slightly sticky. And when you put that onto the surface, it takes the excess dust off. And the surface is then ready for receiving a coat of the acrylic gloss or the acrylic satin finish. The tools of application needed for applying the acrylic gloss and the acrylic satin finish are a good quality medium pile roller. You must make sure that the roller has been correctly cleaned out before use because some rollers do shed fibres. So it's ideal to use a roller that's been used in emulsion prior to it going into the gloss or that the, the brand new roller has been thoroughly washed and left overnight 
and cleaned because the last thing that we want is fibre loss onto the actual finished coating. We also like to use as well a good quality synthetic brush. Now the reason why we state synthetics is that the paint uh, just clings to the outer uh, surface of the bristle. If you was to use a pure bristle brush, when you look at a pure bristle brush under the microscope, it's like a mini straw. And over a period of a couple of hours, the actual paint will travel down the actual bristle. And when you take a natural break, you'll find that when you come back, the bottom section of the brush isn't workable and becomes hard. So that when you apply the actual acrylic systems with it, you will find that you're not actually painting it on, you're actually dragging the paint. It's very different with a synthetic brush because the synthetic brush, when you look at it under the microscope, is a solid filament. And it's not like a straw and it doesn't take paint inside, it just clings to the outer surface. We do, however, recommend that when you use a synthetic brush and you take an actual break, that you thoroughly clean the brush prior to you taking that natural break. And that may be that you submerge it in water till you come back. And then, like I said, just spin it out and then back into your acrylic gloss or satin finish and carry on with the work. One of the first things that we must do before applying the paint is to give it a thorough stir. And we must use a good quality stirring stick. You'll be surprised how many times we go on site and decorators are trying to stir products with their grandmother's knitting needle, chopstick from the takeaway the night before, or a bamboo cane from the garden. We always recommend to use a good quality stirring stick, roughly around about an inch or two inch in uh, width, and about 14 inch long. If we actually put that into the paint and then we give it a thorough stir from the bottom upwards, we're making sure then that this paint is properly activated and we've got a good mix with inside the container. We can then apply that product then onto the door, making sure that we get a nice solid coating. One of the most important things that we must remember when we're actually on site is that this product must be applied in temperatures above five degrees C. Obviously, in summertime, when the temperatures get far hotter and warmer, we will recommend the use of a cloth which has been dampened in some clean water, wrung out and then used on the surface to actually dampen the surface down. 